Okay, so uh, this is how you're gonna set up a a forwarding account that you can also log into uh, to send emails from. So, for example, you might have the email address, um, you know, uh, corporatewebrex at uh, you know mail dot com, um, and you may also have uh, another domain name corporate-web.net that you want to be able to send. Uh, you want to be able to receive emails at the corporateweb.net web.net and then send it over to the, the mail.com um, email address uh, and then you also when you do that you also may want to be able to send as corporate-web uh, rex at corporate-web.net corporate um, as well as from the, the corporate web you know uh, mail.com one so um, today we're going to show you how to do that um, so basically the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, Load up uh, mailbox.cws.net in the web browser and click on Manage Mail Account. This will take us to the admin login. So I'm going to log in with my uh, admin account for the domain, admin at corporateweb.net. Put in the password. All right. So now I'm just going to click on Virtual List. This is going to take us to an overview of our uh, email addresses and aliases. So right now I don't have anything in there. Um, now if I wanted to create an alias that will just send, uh, forward all the email um, to another account, I could just click on this add alias right here. Um, and that will create you know, an alias to go from rex at corporate web to rex at mail.com. Um, however, what this won't let you do is this won't let you log into our mail server and send emails as rex at corporate web.net. Um, you'd just be sending them through your mail.com account. Um, now, some providers, such as Gmail, offer an option where um, you can send as another uh, another email address right from within Gmail, and you don't have to go through this step. Uh, with Gmail, it's sufficient to just create an alias, and then there's some options in Gmail where you can uh, make it uh, send out from another email address in your settings. Um, but if you don't have that option, uh, this is how you'll go ahead and set it up so you can send um, from both email addresses um, and have both of those email addresses go to the one inbox. So I'm going to click on add mailbox and now normally we would click on add mailbox if we wanted to create a full-blown mailbox where you log in and check all your email in this spot but we're gonna do a bit of a trick so that we can log in to send email but all the incoming email just gets passed on to our other account. So I'm gonna create the email rex at corporateweb.net Put in the password. I did that wrong. And hit add mailbox. All right, and that's our, you know, email address with the password. And again, never use a password like that. This is just for demonstration purposes. So now I'm going to go back to the virtual list up here, and we see the mailbox that's created. So now, in order to make this a forwarding only account. And so it does, you know, so emails don't get stored here and count against our quota. I need to click on this alias button. Click on that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to put in, oh, let's see, uh, corporatewebrex at gmail.com. Uh, now, again, if you have a Gmail account, you don't need to do it this way. There's uh, a better way to do it, but some of our providers, you have to do it this way. So. Do that okay and now we see here this has changed to forward only up top so this is going to only forward emails over to this address but then it's also going to let us log into this mail server to send emails as uh, this username or as this email address okay so now I'm going to load up uh, Thunderbird here um, and uh, let's see here so we've got uh, we've got our account and I've already set this one up ahead of time to be able to you know read and check emails um, under my you know corporate dash web you know corporate web rex at gmail.com so the so now what we need to do is I'm gonna go to tools I'm gonna go to account settings all right and now the first thing I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to add another outgoing mail server um, so this is gonna be for the 
So outgoing mail server, I uh, will call this uh, corporate-web.net outgoing server name is going to be mailbox.cws.net make the port 25 and then we're going to put in our full email address for the username rex at corporate web.net we will hit OK alright now we see this additional outgoing mail server there so now I'm going to go back here and click on the email address again for the account. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click Manage Identities. And this is going to allow us to add another email address that we can send as from within this one account. Click Manage Identities. We see our default one here. I'm going to click Add. Add a secondary one for our Rex. So our name is Rex. Email address is Rex at corporate dash web dot net apply to address is rex at corporate dash web dot net and the organization organization is corporate web services all right and then for my outgoing server we need to click on this we need to click on the one that we just set up earlier that corporate dash web dot net outgoing with mailbox dot cws dot net um, and again, you know, for you, it wouldn't be corporate-web, it'd be whatever your domain name is, so, you know. Click OK. That's all set up. Click Close. OK. Now we can go and we can compose a new message. Alright, now that we've got this going, um, if we want to send from our corporatewebrex at gmail.com, we leave that as it is. But if we want to send from the corporate-web.net account, then we have to click on that, go down here and we select that. And now we can fill it in as usual. So I'm going to send an email to support at cws.net. And this is just going to be a test. And I'm going to go ahead and click send. Then it's going to ask me for my password. Now this is the password for that account we created in the mailbox interface. Um, so I'm going to type, type in the password. Click OK. All right, and now it's sent off. So um, that's how you set it up. Uh, if you have any questions, send us an email. Uh, support at cws.net.